Hi, my name's Rich Harrington for Adorama TV, and I've headed out to the Western Desert for just a little short vacation and brought along a couple of cameras to play with. Now, I want to point out today that we're taking a look at the Nikon D5300, which is a recently released camera from Nikon. It's designed for people who are really into photography enthusiasts. One of the things I like about this camera is just how small it is. It's really easy to pack this camera. It's very, very tiny, but unlike a lot of cameras this size, we have fully interchangeable lenses, which gives us the option to swap out lenses, upgrade the camera, change it for different types of shooting situations. So it's really kind of cool that you get the best of both. Really small and compact, but still lots of flexibility when it comes to shooting. All right, let's take a look at a couple of the detailed specs here. This camera offers 24 megapixels of information. That's plenty of resolution for just about anything that you're going to need to do with these images, from printing to sharing. It's a good size. You're going to get nice capacity on a memory card, be able to store a lot of images, but still have good information. And the RAW files, lots of information to work with if you choose to shoot RAW. Two things that are really nice that are now built in that used to be add-ons to lots of cameras, built-in GPS so you could tag your photos if you want to know where you took them, making it easier as you share those memories or want to find a place where you were shooting, and built-in Wi-Fi. So instead of having to shoot and then pop out a card and transfer it to a device, I could simply transfer from the camera to my iPad mini with an app or to my smartphone in my pocket making it easy to share those images and publish to social networks or do other things with the images without having to actually even take the card out of the camera. No special memory card, no extra adapters, just built right in. You're going to use F-mount style lenses. Lots of lenses are available from Nikon at all sorts of price points to really let you extend the functionality of this camera. And it offers full 1080 video and the ability to also record in up to 60 frames per second. One thing for me that I really like is the articulating viewfinder. You have the ability to pop this out and you could flip it around. So if I needed to record myself in front of the camera, I could angle that and see myself as I record. I could bend this for comfort here. So maybe I want to cradle the camera and see what it is I'm shooting for video. Much better ergonomics for video. Or you can go ahead and even lift the camera up overhead if you were shooting to get a high shot above a crowd. It's really nice that this viewfinder articulates and gives you 270 degrees of rotation plus the ability to flip it back. For extra protection, you could flip that with the LCD side down so it doesn't get damaged while traveling and then just get out in the field, flip it back around, and you've got your live view panel. So it works really nicely that way. Great design. 39 points of autofocus, very quick to snap on. I'm out here shooting landscapes and nature, but I did shoot a few candids and the device was able to quickly spot my subject and lock in. So the camera works well for capturing action scenes with a high frame rate and quick autofocus. The camera also features a lot of in-camera effects, the ability to use scene files for particular shooting situations, maybe low light or candlelight, different types of creative effects to change the image. So this offers less experienced shooters or people who just want to take the easy mode the opportunity to really get some great effects, the ability to adjust background blurring or to shoot for different lighting conditions. Works really well. Plus, you can even do some basic retouching right inside the camera. All right, I encourage you to head on over to Adorama.com where you can read lots of reviews for people who've bought this camera. Don't just take my word. Go ahead and listen to some of the people who've bought it, use the camera, hear what they have to say. Great way to find out if the camera works. And while you're over there, check out the Adorama Learning Center. Tons of articles, videos, electronic books you could download, things to help you get more out of photography. It's a great resource. And if you want to make sure to get every episode of Adorama TV, my episodes, things from folks like Joe McNally, Brian Peterson, great stuff. Mark Wallace, Gavin Hoey, Tamara Lackey, wonderful tutorials to check out, absolutely free. You could subscribe on either YouTube or iTunes and get every episode delivered the day it's released. For Adorama TV, my name's Rich Harrington.